Thank you very much, Kelly. Overnight and all day, things remain tense in Watertown as neighbors were urged to stay in their homes. Our own Laura Queso, a Boston native, has an aunt who lives there in the heart of Watertown and was awakened this morning by the sounds of gunfire and explosions. I was in bed, it was to about 12, 12.30, and uh, I hear a uh, bomb and a uh, and, uh, gunshot, and I jumped from my bed. And I Pina Chavaroletti lives right in the heart of Watertown. I was shaking like crazy, and I was, uh, was crying. And the city of Boston's been shaking all week. This picture from Pina's window says it all. We already checked out our basement. He's not in our basement, but we don't know where he is, and he could be anywhere. Today, the entire city of Boston and neighboring suburbs on complete lockdown. All mass transit shut down. Businesses and schools closed. Nobody in Belmont, Alston Brighton, all of Boston, Arlington, Cambridge, Watertown, Brookline, is not allowed to leave their house. People waiting at bus and subway stops were told to go home. All modes of transportation shut down. It's just been um, unbelievable for the people of Boston. I mean, the news isn't, the, the news is showing what they're showing, but unless you're here, it's a completely different experience to see it firsthand. It's unreal. Thursday, the FBI poured through video and photos from the day of the attack. A detailed analysis of all the evidence led them to Watertown. And through it all, the president vowed there would be justice. And for the people living through this, the road to normalcy is a lot longer than any marathon. Every time I step foot outside of my door, I have a little pain inside of my stomach. And I think it's a stress that's not going to go away for a very long time for a lot of people. I mean, it's not even really sunk in yet. I mean, it's just kind of surreal at this point. The last thing I thought I would wake up to was um, the radio this morning telling me that there's been an all-night chase, police officers have been killed, and there's a huge manhunt going on. And Laura Queso, WNY HD News.